All right, alcohol, baby. Which one should you be drinking when you're going out? Well, I hate to be a party pooper because none. The reason why is that your body absorbs it faster than any other food source that you eat. There's limited storage of it, so anything above and beyond what your body can store gets stored as body fat, and it's obviously hard on your liver. When it comes to alcohol, your body actually rapidly absorbs alcohol faster than any food source that you might have eaten prior. So even if you had a burger and fries and you had alcohol with it, your body will actually shut down the digestion temporarily of the food that you ate and make your body absorb the alcohol first. And so unlike carbohydrates, proteins, and fat, alcohol, it requires no digestion. So this is why it's often said that alcohol is empty calories because it doesn't provide any nutritional value like vitamins, minerals, or energy beyond the calories that you consume. So when alcohol is present in the body, it actually overrides the metabolism and it processes it over any other nutrients. When it comes to the liver, well, the liver is the primary organ responsible for metabolizing the alcohol and it produces certain enzymes, primarily alcohol, that's called ADH, and it breaks down ethanol into another chemical, and it's a toxic substance. So the body then further metabolizes it, and then it gets used as energy, and beyond that, it gets stored in the fat. So as you can see, it's just really hard on the liver because it has to go through so much of a digestion process just to break down the alcohol that you consume. And your body doesn't actually like alcohol as an energy source. So alcohol, unlike carbohydrates, carbohydrates provide seven calories per gram. Carbohydrates provide four calories per gram, where alcohol provides seven calories per gram which is similar to fat. So you might con be consuming 20 grams of carbs, but now you've almost doubled the amount of calories for a smaller portion. And unlike carbohydrates, which can be stored as glycogen in the muscles and in the liver for future use, this has no significant storage mechanism in your body, so alcohol almost instantly gets stored into your fat tissue. So this means that your body prioritizes alcohol and breaking it down to eliminate it from our systems. And last but not least, I'm just giving you information that there's a dehydration and electric-like imbalance that occurs when you have alcohol. So alcohol has a diuretic effect, meaning it can increase your urine production. How many times do we break the seal, right? So when we break the seal and all we're doing is drinking alcohol, which provides no nutrients, your body absorbs it and you're pissing out the nutrients that should be remaining in your body because your body is flushing. And so you're losing a lot of the good nutrients that you have sitting in your body to make room for the bad nutrients, which is alcohol. So what does this all mean? Is that, yeah, sure, like enjoy your occasional drink here and there, but you have to prepare your body so that you're potentially decreasing your calories before and you're decreasing your calories after. You're making sure that you're not having junk food in and around your drinking days because the junk food isn't gonna get processed before the alcohol. Because like I said earlier in this video, the alcohol actually takes precedence of metabolism beyond the food that you've consumed. So the food that you consume, instead of it getting used for energy, your body is going to try and use this alcohol for energy because it wants to get rid of it out of your body as fast as possible. Now we've all heard of liver damage. So what ends up happening in the liver is it has to break the enzyme, the alcohol enzyme, into smaller particles. And it goes through this whole process which creates havoc on your liver. But for you, since you're following me, when we talk about belly fat and we talk about weight gain, it's easy to put in two, 3,000 calories of alcohol, like I mean if you had 10 shots, you're looking at over 1,000 calories of alcohol, which is then doesn't even get used as energy for your muscles, it gets stored into your body fat. So I'm not saying don't drink, but I'm just saying that drinking could be a contributor to your weight gain and your belly fat gain, guys.